We're on track here in the United States to administer millions of doses to the American people in less than one year. It is a miracle indeed. Live on television this morning, the vice president getting a COVID vaccine. He was joined by Second Lady Karen Pence and the U.S. Surgeon General. They wanted to get their shots live on TV to reassure the American people the vaccine is safe. President-elect Joe Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris will get their vaccines in public as well, but it's unclear when President Donald Trump will get his shot. American officials getting the vaccine publicly is part of a strategy to show some reluctant Americans that it is safe to get this shot. As Local 5's Lake and McGee explains, there might be other methods to persuade folks who are wary of the vaccine. We're humans, we're social beings, we uh, will model our own behavior after others especially if we look up to them and see them as an authority figure and we trust them and we value them and, and, and agree with them on other things. The vice president getting his COVID-19 vaccine on live TV. A big deal, according to psychologist Allison Phillips. It's part of the methods of persuasion to get Americans on board to take the shot. I think that that's a one of one great tool in a whole toolbox that we need to be utilizing right now. So what are those tools traditionally used to convince people to do something? Phillips outlines three ways to get people to buy in. One, using incentives. But we could pay people, for example, to be vaccinated. Um, so if you have somebody who's, let's say, reluctant and they probably won't change their beliefs, uh, but they'll do it if you pay them. Um, they are probably not thinking that it's harmful. They just don't think it's necessary or they think it's a, you know, a politicized hoax, um, they might still do it if you pay them enough. But if people don't respond to that, you could use enforcement techniques. So penalties, if they aren't vaccinated, you could make employment contingent upon being vaccinated. If they want to travel, they have to be vaccinated. Um, if they want to receive stimulus funds or any other kind of governmental funds, they have to be vaccinated. And you can even use some persuasive techniques in your personal life to convince those unwilling to get the vaccine. So acknowledging those risks, but then really highlighting the benefits that you see personally. Um, so to my parent, I would say this means we can get together in the future without masks. We can end this pandemic. People can go back to work. Our kids can go back to school. You can see your grandkids. We can go on vacation again. Um, that's worth a lot more than it, it overbalances for the um, fear that people have of getting this vaccine. Lake and McGee, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa.